What does a typical week look like for you, Monday to Friday, or weekends, for example? So the way my schedule works is uh, I'll, it's a four-week rotation where I do two weeks with liver transplant, and that's working 10 to 6. And then, um, and then I get the weekends off. Um, but then I do uh, the nights and weekend calls where I do Monday, Tuesday from 7 to 7. I work the weekend from 2 to midnight. And then uh, the next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, ten to, or 7 to 7. Uh, and then I restart the, the two weeks with liver. Um, so to me, I, I actually really do appreciate the, the rotation because uh, it's, it kind of changes things up. And I, I see, um, for instance, with the room when I'm on, on call with uh, for, for MOT, I, I'll get to see um, patients from all of the organ groups um, as well. That's where I guess some of the more exciting medicine comes. Um, uh, I guess code blues will happen. Um, more kind of serious uh, events will happen at night. They always happen at night for some reason. Um, and then, but then getting back to the to the liver team, I, it's it's nice to kind of be part of a team working. Um, we have uh, three nurse practitioners on our team that have been super helpful with me kind of entering the team. Um, and then we have uh, fellows and then our staff physician every week. Mm -hmm. And um, do you, uh, can you break down what a typical day looks like from you, from when you get in to when you leave? So I get there, um, so the liver transplant team gets uh, to the hospital at around 7 a.m. and they do their rounds on all the patients at 7. Um, they finish their rounds by the time I get there at 10 and they, as, uh, we meet as a team and uh, they basically give a quick run through as to what happened overnight if there are any changes. And from there, as a team, we, we, we essentially map out our day, what we need to do for our patients. From there, um, we round on our patients. And I so I typically will have uh, eight to 10 inpatient liver transplant patients um, on my roster that I'll, um, I'll manage. And then we'll meet uh, back up at three. And then at three, uh, we'll do our, a whole, our whole team round again. And then uh, from there, We'll, uh, then we'll uh, just kind of clean up anything we need to do uh, before I go home at 10, or before I go home at 6. And what is um, the weeks that you're on the uh, MOT when it's 7 to 7? What does a typical or crazy night look like for you? So um, I get there, it's, I'll get there a bit early um, and kind of just uh, review the patients that we have in the acute care units um, because those are the patients that are typically uh, going to be more active over overnight. Uh, they're on continuous monitoring and uh, they, they are on in the acute year, uh, care unit because uh, they do um, have, uh, I guess, a bit more of a concern with their stability. Uh, so I, I'll, quit, I'll round on those patients first and just make sure I'm familiar with them uh, in case anything does come up. Um, and then I'll kind of round on every floor. We tip, we, right now we have about four floors that um, have patients on them. So I'll just go check in with the nurses, make sure everything is all right. Um, and then uh, at this time I'm carrying a pager. So by then the pager's going off and I'm, um, I guess, uh, Get a chain, I guess managing blood sugars, managing um, high, uh, high blood pressures, low blood pressures, um, ordering different medications, going to assess patients. It's every every shift. It's it's always something new. So it's uh, it's always kind of exciting, and it keeps you on your toes. Absolutely. <clears throat> and um, you mentioned that there's a lot of inpatient ward management, and you're doing call. Are there any times that you do consults or an outpatient clinic, or does that fall? Uh, outside of the transplant service? So we'll do consults, um, for instance, um, if there's, say, a kidney transplant patient that um, all of a sudden um, kind of needs assessment for a liver transplant, so we'll kind of do consults in that regard, as well as if uh, any, pa any transplant patient comes to uh, the emergency at TGH, uh, they'll give us a call and um, we'll completely assess them in emergency. Um, so um, you, at nights, um, typically the fellow will be down in emergency do it, taking the new consults, um, but if I'm having a quiet night, they'll generally send me a message and ask me to get down there to give them some help, because typically we have a lot of patients coming in through the ER. Um, but in the net, we don't, I don't really work with the patients.